Welcome to Cocktails and Convos, right here with your only one hood girl number two. You know, remember that's my a screen name, that hood girl two. Welcome back, my subscribers. Come on in. The door is open. Get ready to have dinner with me. And of course, don't forget your cocktail. Let me know below what you're drinking and what you're eating. And my newcomers, come on in. That door is still wide open. Bring your drink, bring your food, and let's have dinner together with this one and only hood girl, too. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. Oh, and of course, please don't forget that to hit that notification bell. Ding, down, ding, down. Leave me a comment, share, and like if you like. Now, you know, uh, I'm going to continue uh, where my story left off yesterday. I believe that, well, first of all, let me tell you what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Um, we're going to have some turkey necks. I simmered them down in the oven for three hours with onion, bell pepper, garlic, and celery, and some beef, uh, beef bouillon. I have some... Um, smothered potatoes and I also have uh, some green beans and I tell you you can lift up your green beans with just a little of Italian dressing it gives it a whole new taste I learned that from one of my really really good friends so let's say grace and let's start eating then we can start our convos with the conversation let's do it Father God, thank you for this food that I'm about to eat. May it bring nourishment to this beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray amen and amen. Let me do the first thing that I like to do. Let's do a toast. This is for you. Clean. Sip, sip, and sing. <laughs> oh, that's good. You remember that's this is my Amsterdam. Uh, with the grapefruit and the cranberry and of course a squeeze of lime it is so good and it's really refreshing it's it's good so i do have <laughs> my two times hot sauce and you know we got that old school at louisiana this is what i'm gonna be using tonight so let's go oh let me tell y'all um Turkey necks, you know, it's a lot of sucking bones, <laughs> these bones. So forgive me if I suck so loud, but promise me when I'm sucking, keep your clothes out. <laughs> That's my inside humor. <laughs> so anyway, how are y'all today? I hope you had a great Sunday. If the ones who went to church, Good. The ones who did church at home, good. You know, the ones who woke up and just say thank you, good, because I did them all. So, um, I'm still a beginner, and I'm still learning. I, I, I do hope that my channel is going to be good. I see I need to learn about my setups and da-da-da-da and then da-da-da-da. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Excuse me. Mm. Remember, I did tell y'all I'm a good cook. So, you want some potatoes? They really are good. I simmered them down in some chicken broth and onion, lots of garlic, and um, salt, pepper, and some Greek seasoning. If y'all haven't tried Greek seasoning, honey, I'm gonna tell you, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, and I guess I better tell you, remember yesterday, y'all, I had my purple hair? Well, today, uh, where's the purple, a purple ponytail? Because I felt a little royal yesterday. Um, but today I have my blonde with my uh, my black. Uh, you know, when I was you know when I was homeless, one thing I did learn to have extra money to eat and to have somewhere to sleep. I learned how to weave hair back then, and um, so I've been wearing hair like at age fifteen. I'm not going to tell you what my age is, but I'm over 50. <laughs> yes. Meow. Uh, and so I wear a lot of hair. A lot, a lot of. Now, when I wear my, my normal hair, I have a, I, I wear a, 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 a flat top 
because I am shaved on my sides and my back. I love it. I love short hair. I do have long wigs and I do wear them, but not as much as I do my short wigs. I had all my ponytails. Mm. This is good. So let's start with my story from yesterday. I, I missed out on some things because I'm going to tell you what. My life was like inside mother's home as far back as I can remember. Uh, my mother was a disciplinarian. Or did she just like to whip you? It was one or the other. And she was a gambler. She was a poker player. High table. And I remember the days when... Um, these green beans are good. When, um, she lost. She was very angry. Um, that's another reason we had to move a lot because she gambled off the, the rent money a lot. So. And then when she won, it was really good because... We used to have Jack in the Box. Every time she won, you know, them Jack in the Box tacos with that Perina dog food. <laughs> That's what I say is in it. That, that mush meat, whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, we got Jack in the Box all the time. And then on them times where she lost, she would come in. If she could see one speck on the wall, one hand mark, one dirt mark on the corner. She would wake us up, even if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, knowing we had to go to school. And she would fix this solution and we had to wipe walls down. At that time in the morning. I will never forget this time. And I, I think, I think with all the whoopings, you kind of get a little rebellious. I guess. I don't know. And to add, um, out of five children, I'm the only one that has had this beautiful brown skin. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a little harder on me. But I remember one time when my cousin <clears throat> we had mother had sent us to the store and we stole a bag of M&M's. And, and in, our, in, my, in my bedroom, that was like this, you know, them wood plank floors back in the day. We you know, one with loose, you can have some stuff in there. I hope that the bugs don't get it before you get it. Well, we, we hid it. My mama walked in the room just as we was getting out that floor plank. <laughs> um, she went outside. And she cut that water hose. We got a whooping with that water hose. And then we had to go back to the store and tell the manager that we uh, stole his m &Ms. <laughs> So her level of discipline was harsh. And so one night, her and her boyfriend went out and told me and my sister, do not open up this door while I'm not here. So, you know, we had them the boys next door. <laughs> and we had opened up that door. Mama said, don't open up that door while I'm not here. Me and my sister opened the door. My mom and them drove up, and we weren't expecting back so soon. So, we had this old dresser in our room. This is really good. And, and these uh, neck bones are so meaty. We, um, no, my mama uh, went um, to that dresser, and you know, them old dressers, Sometimes the front would break out from the base. I think I better drink on this. 
We got to whip him with that board. <laughs> we got to whip him with that dresser. And she uh, sprained my sister's wrist. But that night, Garoon, you know, well, she's going to be like to wake up next morning. So I think that was our first um, idea of running away from the abuse. You know, back then, you ain't handle about a cow, really. Mm. So, we ran away to the neighbor, to the neighbor's house next door. <laughs> we we hit the, we hit next door, so, and we begged his mama not tell, cause she had a house full of boys. Mm. But we had to go home the next day. Mm -hmm. So at that time, she had called. Um, the girls and boys home or a home for girls or one of them organizations, she was going to put us away. But she never did. Never came through. I don't think she was through, you know, being mama. So, one day, she, um, y'all remember Jones Road, that stretch of Jones Road down there? Well, the neighbor's son, I ain't, I'm not going to call his name because he's still alive. <laughs> he might be looking. He had one of those old time gremlin, that old gremlin car. Who remembers that gremlin car? Well, we were walking down Jones Road, that stretch of Jones Road, and um, he had that little, that little yellow gremlin. I probably shouldn't have said the color, huh? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, I think because... I had gotten so many whoopings and so times calling me that black B-I-T-C-H. And I just think I oppressed a lot of stuff because the pain is real. The words hurt. Even back then as a little girl, I knew what it felt like to have your mother to speak to you in such disdain. So we were walking down Jones Road and I saw that gremlin coming. I'm good. Now that's a stem and that green bean. I could have choked. We going down there and I, well, I don't know what made me think that I can do it. I think I was superwoman. I tried to run <laughs> and jump on a doggone moving car. Who does that but a troubled child? I was a troubled, troubled youngster. Well, I ain't know what happened after that. <laughs> Cause um, uh, yeah, I was unconscious. <laughs> so I woke up in this hospital bed. And I did not remember what the hell I did. And so, again, I don't know why I did it. I just think that, uh, oh, mm. oh, that, um, those beatings. I think I was just trying to oppress my pain. And so, I have to go back home though. So, I don't know if my mother, she never asked me why I did it. She didn't stop doing what she was doing either. Excuse me. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That is good. <laughs> it's so, so, so good. So, that's hot. So, the days went on, and y'all remember when cigarettes was 50 cents? Those of you who smoke, or your parents, or your grandmamas back in them days smoked. But mama used to smoke 
Winston regular, right? Them hearts, nasty syrup. But you know me, once again, that troubled child. I used to steal two a day. <laughs> and we used to walk to school, and we had, I was at to walk down this block by you to get to school. Was it out of Thomas or something? Like now, um, so I used to steal two cigarettes, one to smoke. <laughs> I'm going to school on the bayou and want to smoke coming home. Um, I cough all the way. <clears throat> and they didn't have no menthol in that one. It was a straight back. <laughs> and I just cough. That should have been my clue. Not to smoke. So. My mama would get up sometimes and say, I know damn well I had more cigarettes than this. Who the fuck is, ooh. I'm not supposed to cuss, I'm sorry. But that's what she said. Who the F taking my eh, cigarette? Ooh, I was expressing that with her. <laughs> of course, I ain't say nothing. But if I'd have said something, or I apologize, oh, that would have been a woman. I would have been a, a wood beam. A, a good woman. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, you gotta get, um, and them crabs is here. Y'all wanna buy it? Because this show, y'all got one with the onions and the stuff on it too. Mm hmm. Take a bite. Mm, it's so, so, so good. So, she sent, she sent me to the store to get her pack of cigarettes. And you know how um, the sun shine on you and the shadows in the sidewalk? Well, I'm going to take, I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm going to get to show y'all. Well, excuse me. I noticed that my hips kind of did this. I'm see, can, can y'all, can y'all see? So my hips was kind of doing this, like right. And I'm thinking, like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with my body. What the hell? So I stopped walking. You know that 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 child don't don't know that innocent that innocent. I stopped walking. <laughs> it's just to see if I start back. If my hips would do that again. And they did. I was like. Wow. Because I didn't know bodies do that. I was I was a little innocent little girl. So I got I got home and I said mom. Mm -mm. I said mama. When I walk. My hips do like this. And she said. Well let me tell you a story. That's a true story, y'all. This really is a true story. She say, you was one of the ugliest children I had. I'm thinking like, oh, well, thank you for the confidence. Thank you. Thank you. She say, you were one of the ugliest children I had, and you just wanted me to carry you every day, and one day you was holding on to the end of that sofa. And you was crying like somebody was killing you. She said, so I beat your hands. And she said, such this, y'all. I beat your hands so you left, let go of that damn sofa. And you've been walking like that ever since. So I had to get a vision. And I think like, you know, when you, pat, when you, when you, when you tap your, the little baby, two years old, one year old, on the hand, say, I told you not to touch it to hurt their feelings. And they, and they start crying, right? Well, I'm thinking if she beat my hands, this little ugly girl, um, I have to be pissed off. So I think, you know how you get, you walk and you're just mad, 
I think that's how I got that walk. <laughs> it ain't what hurts. It's not practice. I didn't go to board. I mean, what you call it? Uh, that school where you learn how to be prim and proper. That ain't where this walk came from. So sometimes when I walk the old, uh, well, not only that. My mama had this boyfriend, right? And I hate it when he came over because they mean I had to go to my damn room. Because of my walk, I could not be in the living room when he was there. I could not be in no part of the house, actually. <laughs> so, every time he came, I just used to get pissed off. Because I'm thinking, like, why he have to come over here all the time? Shit, I don't want to be in the room. Ain't nothing to do in the room. Because we ain't had no games and shit back then. You know, you get on the floor and you, you play some damn marbles. <laughs> or some jacks. So, every time he came over, I had to go in the room. I, I was mad. So, I'm coming to that age. Like I told y'all, up 13 yesterday. And... You remember I told y'all we had lived in this house where the neighbors next door, she had out and boys. Well, my sister got impregnated with one of the boys that I liked. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't end up with, it, with him. And I got impregnated with, I mean, from his brother. And I, I, was, I, didn't, I was surprised I got pregnant because he didn't go all the way in. I was a virgin. <laughs> Let me say it again. I can't say that now, like, <clears throat> I was a virgin. My ass got pregnant. But to show you the difference, my sister, she got to have her baby at that, that young tender age. I'm going to tell y'all something. It may make some of y'all sad. It may make some of y'all mad. I still... Well, I, I'm not going to say I still struggle with it, but I think about it. I couldn't have my baby. She made me abort it. Yeah. I couldn't have my baby. She made me abort that baby. And I'll never forget when I came out of that clinic, I think it was on Martin Luther King somewhere. Back there, uh, that that woman, that little woman's clinic, and I don't know what the what the workers was doing inside, but my aunt Gert, but my Amy, who has since passed away with with Lou Garrett, she had came to pick me up, and she found me outside of the clinic's door, asleep. Not my mother, my mother didn't come and get me. Her sister, my auntie, came to rescue me. And that's when everything started to go downhill to where I left off yesterday. Um, becoming this homeless young girl at the age of 13. So I know it's a lot for y'all to take in today. I, I still got so much. That's just, that's just on the surface, honey. Will you wait till I get in the middle of the nitty gritty of this hood girl? Her iPhone? Mm-hmm. Wait. And I'm also gonna learn how to I mean I have been, I ate I did, did better today with my eating. But uh I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna say thank you again for joining me for dinner. And a cocktail, or as I say, cocktails and convo. Thank you for coming back. And again. Thank you for all my newcomers. I'm so glad to have you in my home. And I need you back every day because I like talking to you. You know, sometimes when you talk about your story, like I said, you you know, well, you know, yesterday I said we're going to do uh, Talk to Me Tuesday. I don't want to do Talk to Me Tuesday. I want to talk it out Thursday. How about that? Let's talk it out Thursday. I think when we talk it out and we talk it through and we have somebody who listens, I think it, it's, it's healing as well. Because some of us hold on, you know, to that 
stuff in the back, in the back back there. You know, because I held on to some, but we're going to get to that part. It's a whole nother chapter. We just now, we're not even done with the first chapter. Huh. Well, we'll be going to the second chapter. Mm. Soon. So, get ready. I hope y'all want to hear more. Because I'm so ready to tell more. I am. And I want to hear yours, too. I'm going to talk about Thursday. So, I'm going to be... Uh, Telling you guys again, once I create it, and you'll be doing it on my Instagram page, I will try to do two topics from you guys if I have the time. Um, and, and I'm really glad. Oh, I have some shout outs. I mean, I told y'all yesterday that I was going to do some shout outs to the people I have been watching for a long time, at least a year and a half, who do these, beloved says, moot bang. And I don't know why I still want to say moot bang, but they still mean the same. <laughs> Here go my shout outs. Um, be love. You know you're the queen. I love your content as well. I love your natural ability just to speak to us. Keep doing what you're doing. It's good. KC Connection, you and your daughter. Y'all tickle me. It's whiny. I like you too. That the hot sauces you did, um, I can't think of the name, I'm drawing a blank, but you did all those different hot sauces. Oh my god, I would have just died to do them hot sauces. Um, Dame Dash, you just crazy as hell. I love you, yummy bites. You and your hubby, I'm getting to know y'all a little better. Keep doing what you do. Y'all saw how that expression changed. These, these two people I'm about to uh, announce at the shout out. I love y'all together. Steph and Tosh. Them challenges, oh, shall I say them doggone challenges, my God, they're so fun. Really, really, so, so fun. Zach Chunk Chunk, you and Nicole, of course. I love y'all too. Yeah, get it together. I want to see, I want to see some rings and some wedding tunes. And last but not least, Queen Beast and Beast Mode. Queen Beast, you remember that time when you you did that uh, mean challenge, mean to your husband? Oh, girl, I said some, I said two mean things to you, and I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't know if it, it, it was a prank, though. I'm so I'll be the first to apologize. I ain't going to tell you what my screen name was back then. <laughs> but I said two nasty things to you because I was like, who treats their husband in such a manner? Well, let me be the first to apologize if you ever found out it was me. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys together, and I love you guys separately. And it's, it's a few more I want to shout out when I get the time, but I'm so glad to be a part of this big old huge Moot bong, muck bong, moot bang channel. It's so many of us, y'all. It's so many. We, we kind of have the same, you know, content. We eat, we share, we talk, we laugh. It's just beautiful. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. I'm so glad to be on board. I'm so glad to be on this ship. So let's sail and sail away. So with that said, another toast to you. Thank you for sharing your night with me. I'll see you again. Don't forget I'll be doing these videos on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Because those are the days I, I actually drink too. <laughs> I do a cocktail on those days. <laughs> so it prevent me from you know, drinking five days a week. <clears throat> no, it's seven days, right? Seven days. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> so look at y'all. Y'all have a fabulous night. Whatever you do, just have fun doing it. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow. Good night.